You couldn't have rebuilt it and kept it in the same spot if we hadn't salvaged part of the building, which we did in the roof as we saw on the inside. It makes a huge difference. This is it. It matches the house perfectly. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Woo! Look at the beautiful colors. Judy did a good job on picking the colors. Hey, you like that little little uh, bathroom strip right there, so you don't so you don't trip when you when you see it. That's true. I would have tripped. Yeah, you, <laughs> it's so subtle that you would, might not see it, but this helps you to. Mm-hmm. It points it out right there. So all the the interior is. Left natural, but we did paint it. And this is the old ceiling, you can the really... old roof. Yeah. So this is what we kept. This is what we saved. <laughs> and I got a brand new foundation. You can see the little curb walls. You can see details in here, like the uh, the bolts, all the bolts and nuts. Even those have been painted. That meets code for a garage. It doesn't have to have all the wiring covered. Nice. Look at all the structure right here. And here's that, here's those big straps. They've all been painted right here. We've even got foam fireproofing insulation in case it's ever sheetrocked. You know what that, why that foam has to be there? It's so that, so that it fireproofs it. So that if your ceiling catches fire and your, it would not, go into the walls or vice versa. If the walls catch fire, like if there was a short right here, mm -hmm. if there was a short in here and this caught on fire, maybe, it, but what's gonna happen, it'll burn itself out because it can't get any oxygen from up above because oh. it's not breathing all that air that goes into the attic. Because the sheet rocks on this side, the sheathing's on this side, and there's only a small amount of oxygen in this panel. So even though it's not, even though it's open? Well, no, if it had sheetrock on it. Oh. None of this applies if you have, you don't have sheetrock on it. Oh, okay, but we did it anyways. We did it so that if it's ever covered. They don't have to go back and redo it. Nobody would think about it. Yeah. You'd hire someone to do sheetrock, possibly, and maybe mm -hmm. the next owners. And, uh -huh. and then they would not realize that it was not fireproof. Oh. Isn't that neat? Yeah. Let's go in and check out a little storage area. Even has a raised ceiling for this little storage area. It looks so nice. And this is luxury vinyl plank on the floor. Perfect flooring. If you had any moisture in it, it wouldn't hurt it. I think these are the fence. These were these were the old fence. Uh-huh. Yeah. We took That's down. So cool. Yeah, so we used them here. Kind of leave some of the nostalgia of the old building. Well it's historic. It's what? It's historic. a historic home. Yeah, because this is a historic home, that's right. Mm -hmm. But you can you recognized it right away with the little caps on it. Uh-huh. That's cool. Uh-huh. Cool. What we're on the outside. Check out the detail on the molding that matches the home also. Now this is all modern trims, fiber cement, so it'll never rot. And this is this is just those little extra touches that make it tie into the home. Just a beautiful project on the outside. It's an imitation, replica, smaller version of the home. And uh, hardy plank like siding. House. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, you could use it as guest quarters, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And the steps, the, the painting, how they, they painted it to match the colors. I mean, all the detail, the plugs, the lighting, the camera, light, the sensors. I mean, even her decorations. I mean, she's really done an awesome job of selecting the colors that go with the home. And the garage doors are just absolutely beautiful. There's so much to see on it for such a small project, but when you look at the befores, what it looked like before, and how we were able to save this, and one of the most impressive things about it is, is we're right on the edge of the alley here. Which we wouldn't have been able to do. One inch. One inch. You couldn't have rebuilt it 
and kept it in the same spot if we hadn't salvaged part of the building, which we did in the roof as we saw on the inside. It makes a huge difference in knowing how to get something past because this gave her so much more yard. If we'd have had to push this back, we would have lost 10, 12 feet out of the yard and it would have just been right up against the house. But these neighborhoods were built that way originally and that's the way we wanted to keep it. So we had to put a foundation under an old building, take out the walls even under an old roof, but the roof stayed and it was enough to get it done. This is in Terrell Hills. The new power upgraded the power source here, as you can see. Got a brand new meter and that took a, that had some fun time getting that done through CPS. But <laughs> as you can see, it goes right up to the roof, new weather head up on top. We're up to maintain without disturbing this very old rock wall. And now it has good drainage all the way around here and there. And that's very, very important that we have good drainage on every project. So we're not having an issue here. And this old wall is still intact.